Hey guys, Joe here, and uh, noticed a few of you were having a, a bit of a trouble um, installing and uh, loading up XWinch, so I wanted to just uh, walk through it real quick uh, and just show you some possible trouble you might run into and uh, how to fix it. So when you install, uh, or sorry, when you download XWinch, you're going to get a zip file just like this. Um, you want to unzip it like you normally would. Um, and since I've already done it, it's going to ask me to override. And then it's going to give you a folder here. And what you want to do is you want to just double click on that folder and it's going to open up these things. Uh, one is an installation instructions and one is a resources folder. The easiest way to do this if you're on Windows is just uh, right click and click copy. And then what you want to do is go into your uh, xplane directory, right? xplane 11 root directory. Just get into the root part where you have all the normal stuff, the aircraft folder, the custom scenery folder, and just drop it in there, right? So you've already got a resources folder in there. So you're just going to uh, right click and click paste, and it's going to say um, destination already has a bunch of files with the same name. Do you want to replace them? Just say yes. It's going to replace them. And right now it's saying it can't be completed because it's in use because I've already got X-Plane open. So I'm just going to cancel it. But for you, it won't say that if you've not got X-Plane running. So what it looks like once it's installed is uh, in the resources folder, um, you'll notice that there's a plugins, right? So in resources plugins, there's a couple things. First of all, there's going to be an XWinch folder just in resources plugins, right? Also, you'll have a Fly with Lua folder if you've installed Fly with Lua, which you have to do, right? And inside that Fly with Lua folder, there's a scripts folder where all the Fly with Lua scripts go. And inside here, there's two things that get dropped. One is another XWinch folder. And another one is this XWinch launcher. So if you've got XWinch fo folder and XWinch launcher in the Fly with Lua scripts directory, then you've got it uh, installed correctly as long as you've also got another XWinch folder in the resources plugins directory. That's what it looks like when it's uh, correctly installed. Okay, And when you do that, uh, when you load up a flight um, in X-Plane, it should uh, pop up. Just like this, the canopy, matter of fact, I'll start a new one real quick. Um, the canopy will uh, will open up automatically just like that, and you'll hear some birds kind of in the background. If you look off your left wing, you should see a bus with some people. If you look back, you should see some uh, some different aircraft, uh, probably. Uh, sometimes these aircraft don't spawn depending on different conditions that are happening in the, in the thing. That's normal. Uh, that's coded in. Um, so if, if you don't get this, let's look at what it looks like when you don't get this. And, and the reason you wouldn't get this because you have a conflicting Lewis script. Let's look what that looks like. Okay, there's a couple uh, scripts out there that I know of that are not compatible. Uh, you may have one that I don't know of that are not compatible. Let's look at what happens when it's not compatible. So uh, I know that um, Fly AGI Tweak is not compatible okay I have it in my scripts disabled folder right so let me go ahead and, and just put it in there so I'm gonna cut from here and I'm gonna paste it in my scripts folder right so now fly AGI tweak is in my scripts folder now if I go up to the menu here and I click on plugins fly with Lua and reload all scripts it's gonna load fly AGI tweak right well when that happens you notice that uh, You'll, you'll prob right now it, it didn't really change because my Lua didn't really do anything. But you'll notice that when it doesn't work, your, your eyes should go up to the top right corner here. And you see where it says Lua stopped? That means nothing's happening. Fly AGI tweak is not working. Uh, X-Winch is not working. Nothing's working, right? Because Lua stopped. The reason is is because there's a conflict in the code. Uh, I'm trying to do something in my code on X-Winch that Fly AGI tweak is trying to do with their code, right? And so because there's some conflicting stuff, now some of that I can fix. I just, I, like I said, I need to know in the, in the uh, X-Winch um, uh, download page uh, in the comments, please let me know um, 
which which uh, script is causing the conflict. And you're like, well, how do I know which script is causing the conflict? Well, when you see Lua stopped up in the top right-hand corner, this should be your next course of action. What you need to do is you need to go into uh, where Fly with Lua scripts is, right, where you have your scripts. You need to take out everything but X winch and X winch launcher. And you're like, well, I don't want to lose all the stuff I got in there. Well, you won't. This is just temporary, right? So you need to take out everything but X winch and X winch launcher. So I'm just going to select everything else here, uh, and I'm going to cut, right? And I'm going to go in and just put them into scripts disabled. This is a temporary holding folder, right? I'm just going to paste them in there, right? And then I can I can take these um, other ones out here. I could cut. And put these in here too, and so I've got I've got nothing but my X winch and my X winch launcher for now, right? And then you go up to plugins, fly with Lua, reload all scripts again, and you'll notice that it works, right? And and everything will be fine and everything will be working. You can reload a flight, make sure that canopy pops up again, and you'll notice that there's no Lua stopped up here. Okay, good. Well, that works. Now what you need to do is you need to come back into your scripts thing and you start putting things in one by one right putting these different Lua scripts in one by one until you find one that makes it say Lua stopped once you find one that makes it say Lua stopped you know that's the conflicting one you can do one of two things at that point you can uh, decide which one you want to keep and uh, if it's if it's the X winch, then play with it all you want and when you're ready to use the other one you just drop that one in and get out of a glider or um, which I know is inconvenient, or you can um, just go on the org. Tell me exactly which one uh, made the made the conflict, and also give me your log dot text. Um, just send me a PM with your log dot text. Uh, but you, if you want to make public the comment of which one is incompatible, that that's probably helpful too. Um, and then we'll see if we can't get that fixed. Um, but also, uh, that's just a quick uh, primer on how to install this thing. And how to get it going. Um, another th another thing is like uh, people want to know, you know, how do I get the menu up? Like they, they don't quite understand what to do once it's set up. Well, if you go into plugins, just like just like I showed you before, and you go down to Fly with Lua, everything is your whole world is in this plugins Fly with Lua uh, area. You can reload the scripts here, or you can go into this Fly with Lua macros, right? And then at, in Fly with Lua macros, the very bottom one is going to say winch control panel open close what that does is that brings up your little control panel right allows you to do things like change the winch cable length right and you can see I, I put a little thing here that says for the new cable length to take effect please restart the flight so um, uh, if you look at the quick notes on the uh, X winch download page uh, you'll get a little more instruction on how to do that um, and then you click uh, hook up now if I clicked hook up right now I would get a little bit of a warning because my canopy is open uh, but that's the winch controller doing his thing um, I'm not gonna give everything away on uh, all the little Easter eggs and surprises and and you'll learn what to do by just following in-game instructions um, but that's how you do that and then uh, to get rid of this this uh, control panel um, you can hit this uh, red button here um, pre-flight or when you actually hit hook up and it decides it's going to do a successful hookup because you've done a good uh, pre-flight then um, it's going to disappear on its own so that's it uh, this is also uh, real quick I'll show you this is also assignable so um, if I go into um, right so if I go into here and I and I uh, can either do keyboard or joystick right now I'm going to do keyboard um, and I want to assign to toggle that menu on and off, right? I want to assign that to a keyboard button or a, or a, or a joystick button. You can go in here into search commands, right? And you could just type in X dash winch, just like this. And it gives you all the things that are assignable. To open and close the X winch control panel, that's the one I was talking about. I've got that assigned to the W key. You can reload the winch object. And you can remove the winch objects. Those are those are the objects that are out there, the bus and the people and the winch on the end of the line and all that stuff. You can you can take those away visually or put them back in visually. And um, the hookup, you don't have to you you don't have to spawn this thing to click hookup. You can assign that to a button. Anytime you're ready, you can just hook up. 
that's a little bit more realistic, although you don't have the ability to um, change your winch li line length when you do that. So, But uh, if you've got your winch line length already set, uh, then you should be good to go, and you can just uh, hit your button. So, yeah, so you can see that um, I've got W assigned to the control panel. You can see it pops up a new one and closes a new one, just like that. So that's it. I uh, hope this is helpful. We're going to try to get a better uh, manual uh, with all this kind of information in there. Um, but uh, it just hasn't happened yet. It's kind of been a mad dash to get this thing uh, buttoned up and get all the bugs fixed out, uh, you know, as much as we can and get it released. And, uh, you know, this is the first wide test uh, outside of among the, the five uh, developers that we've had working on this. And so um, if as new things uh, pop up, new bugs pop up, please let us know. We'll try to get them fixed. And we're still working uh, on just all kinds of different um immersive uh organic things with this thing this this whole deal you guys have no idea <laughs> what's coming or what's we ha what we have planned uh so there's there's some roadblocks that uh the reasons why we haven't gotten uh, all the things done that we want to do um but we're working on busting through those roadblocks and making this thing just uh as awesome as it can be hope you guys enjoyed it thanks